Hi Tamika, this is Miss Smith, your English 165 online instructor, and I want to um, review the key sections of the semi-formal report that you submitted. Um, and I want you to keep in mind that I'm looking at this just as a review. So I'm not looking at it to grade it at this point in time. So I'm not looking at grammar, um, and I'm also not looking very closely at content. I mainly want to make sure that you're on the right track and that there are no plagiarism issues um, that I can see that would negatively affect you in that final draft. And so we'll take a look at what you've submitted. Um, unfortunately, as you know, you haven't submitted all of the sections. And so um, we'll just go through it and, and I'll give you some instructions from here. Now, you did submit um, the start here of your letter of completion, the very first page. I didn't ask for that, um, but I can see that you've been um, planning out the document in terms of where different items go. And so you have this submitted. One thing I will point out is that these two sections need to be switched, okay? And so your letter should begin with your return address, not your name, just your return address. And then you have the dateline and then you have my address. And um, make sure that you correct this. You have an extra three here that you don't need in this address. Um, and make sure that all of this is single spaced. And so it should look like this. Let me show you. It should look like this. And when you put it on single space, sometimes you have to go back and remove space after paragraph. Okay? Um, and so it should look like that instead of of this spacing okay so make sure that everything is single spaced and again your return address goes first then the date line and then after that you put um, the inside address which would be who it's going to which would be this information here okay um, at first glance your letter um, looks a little um, a little um, that's the word I'm looking for. It needs to be a little bit more wording in there, is what I'm trying to say. Um, and so you want to make sure that you maybe expand on this a little bit. And I can tell that your letter's not finished yet also. So just go back to that and make sure that um, that you've, you've worked on that some more. And I'm going to skip through the table of contents and list of illustrations. Let's go to your abstract. Um, the very first paragraph, your, your abstract paragraph looks good. Um, your body paragraph looks good in terms of structure. Again, I'm not looking at content um, too closely. Um, this last paragraph is not complete, but I can see that you're, you're leaning toward what you would recommend for someone interested in this field. So that is in the right direction of where you need to go. Okay, so just finish that abstract paragraph and um, that should be good. And so you have your purpose statement done, but I don't see industry background being done. And that's one of the things I wanted to review because I want to see that you have your in-text citations listed correctly and that your graph is done correctly and that you have your source of your graph listed, okay? And so I need you to um, to continue working on that. Your discussion section, it is also um, very, very thin. You need to add to this. Keep in mind that you need two pages um, at least and two pages of typed text. Okay, I like that you have your subheadings in here, um, but you want to make sure that you get to two pages. And like I've been telling students, um, other students in the class, this is a college level report. And the core of this report are these two to four pages. So two pages isn't a whole lot to ask for, um, for a report of this level. So just make sure that you're pulling um, information from what you've observed during the job shadow. Um, what you notice your contact person doing, kind of bring me into that job shadow experience that you had. And that should help you add more to these, um, to the pages you have and hopefully get you down to that two pages. And so you can go beyond the, the headings that I gave you. You can add your own subheadings as well. Um, now, I don't see any in-text citations in here. And so you should have an in-text citation in here for Rose Edmond for that personal interview you did. Um, you can also go back to ONET and utilize information from ONET um, in here, information that you would not have used in your introduction, and you need information from that secondary source.
and so maybe Fort Jackson Child and Youth Services has a website and then you can pull information from there as well and again you want to make sure that you have the proper in-text citations and that you have the proper full citations now the other problem is you don't have a references page so there really is no way for me to check to see if you're on the right track or not and of course the references page would be where your full citations are located so Tamika I need you to go back to this to continue working on it and to send me um, a complete um, uh, document with your key sections in them okay um, a complete document with your key sections in them the document could be laid out just the way it is now but I need to be able to check your references I need to be able to check your discussion section that's a little bit more complete and that includes those in-text citations I need to be able to check your introduction that is complete that also includes the in-text citations and your your chart and I need to be able to see your completed abstract okay so send that to me just as soon as you can this week um, and that way I can can give you some feedback because keep in mind we're getting very 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 close to the final draft deadline for the semi-formal report okay alright if you have questions please let me know get in, in get in touch with me and I'll be happy to help you out okay talk with you soon